Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. A new cipher has been found on Shadows of Evil, and this is a really interesting one. It's been spotted brilliantly by Glitching Queen, so shout out to her. I've actually been talking about it with her a little, and I think that this cipher, more so perhaps than the Brick cipher, for example, could well hold a fair bit of significance once we decipher it. So I'm going to show you where it is right now, and then I'll talk a little bit more about what I think it could possibly relate to. It's super duper straightforward to get to from the spawn area of the map. It's in the junction, so it's not like there's a load of running that you gotta do before you get there. And I've actually looked in this location multiple times for hidden stuff when we were trying to do other easter egg steps, and so, well, I don't really know how I missed this for so long. Glitching Queen clearly has a better eye for this sort of stuff than I do. So run over to Stamina Up, look down, and what do you know, there's the cipher. I'm going to be using an image here on screen from v 2 that he posted on Reddit just because I didn't have a sniper at the time in game and I wanted to get this video out to you guys so that we could try and crack this together as soon as possible. One of the interesting things about this cipher specifically is that you'll notice on the top line we're given the key, which is great, as only the cursed survive. So that phrase has been used so infrequently by Treyarch since they initially showed it to us on the poster you remember that poster, guys? The poster for pre-ordering Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It was the zombie side of the poster, and what do you know? It said, only the cursed survive. In the same way, similar at least, to when Origins came out just beforehand, they tweeted out that one picture saying, we were there at the beginning and at the end, and that ended up being the key for one of the ciphers on the map, although I had to change the key for that. I won't go into detail now, but I solved those ciphers, and the key was essentially something they had given us pre-release. This phrase has been given to us pre-release. Chances are, it's the key for this cipher. Then, below the key, only the curse survive, you have, what, 70, 80 characters down there, which we're gonna have to try and puzzle out and figure out what it says. Right now, I don't know what it says. I have a couple of ideas of ways that it may end up being solved. It's quite nice of Treyarch to just straight up give us the key, as they have done with several of these ciphers now, and hopefully, fingers crossed, what this will translate into, the plain text, will be fairly useful for understanding things on the map that we currently don't understand, whether it's storyline related, or whether it's specifically tied to a mechanism that we haven't yet discovered. For example, I've been waiting for ages and ages, years in fact, for Treyarch to give us a somewhat difficult cipher to solve, none of the buried silly cipher that we get during the easter egg there, I'm talking a properly difficult cipher that is then going to allow us to do new things in the map that we weren't previously aware of, and then at the end of the day, get an easter egg out of it. I feel like that would be really fun, and it would delay the finding of the easter egg in such a way that you might end up getting a new thing out of the map six months down the line, and in my opinion, that would be pretty cool. So, in summary, thank you to Glitching Queen for reaching out to me and showing me this cipher. Well done for spotting it. Also, thank you, you guys, the viewers, for watching this video. Fingers crossed together, we can crack this thing, because right now, I don't have an answer to provide to you guys, but someone may find one, and if you do, then great, let me know, drop me a tweet, something like that, and we can try and get the rest of them done too, because there are a couple of others that are still unsolved. I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then leave a like. If you haven't, let me know why in the comment section down below. Cool, I haven't done that in a while. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.